Well, she knew some of this. She certainly didn't know all of this. Her life is so dramatically impacted. The unfathomable unexpected is what comes to Mary. And in those times in our life when the unexpected happens, where will our faith be? How will we respond when this thing that just is out of, really out of nowhere comes to us? Will we have faith in that moment? And will we be like Mary who says after this announcement of the angel, let it be. Let it be. Those are words of faith. May it be to me, Father, as you have, as the angel has said, as the messenger has said, may it be to me, let, let that be in my life. Now, our translation that we're going to see this morning <coughs> says, uh, may your word to me be fulfilled, but I think it's the English standard that says, let it be to me, God as you have declared. Do you remember the Beatles song, Let It Be? That's been going through my mind all week long. And, and hearing and reading this story, I would think that's where that song came from. The song, Let It, Let it Be. Listen, listen to the, some of the words. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom, Let It Be. Well, that's her words of wisdom. That's what we can learn about faith this morning. In my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Those were the words of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And those are the words that, 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 that we need to take with us this morning, that, that when it happens, Lord, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. All right, I know you want to sing it with me this morning. I can just see. So here's this verse. And when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. Shine until tomorrow. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Okay, we'll stop there. Right? That's it. Let it be. Let it be. That is what we need to take with us today from God's Word. When the unexpected occurs, when your life is just all of a sudden turned upside down, when you have that type of faith, listen to the story, turn in your Bibles to Luke. Luke chapter 1. I'm going to read all of this and then we'll come back and we'll look at some of these passages in a moment. But hear, hear, the, hear the story of the birth of Jesus foretold. Luke chapter 1, verse 26. In the sixth hour, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings! <laughs> Marty, I see where you get that's your That's your word, right? Yes, sir. It's their word. Yeah. Greedy, I thought of you when I read that this morning. <laughs> Greetings, right? You who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. In other words, she hears this, this, this angel Gabriel shows up to her and, and, and he says, you know, God is, is with you and we have a message for you. And she doesn't know, is this going to be a negative message or is this going to be a positive message? What kind of message is this angel that would appear to me going to share? So do not be afraid. Or back, back up to verse 29. Mary was greatly troubled in his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, don't be afraid. Mary, Mary, you found favor with God. Now here's what's going to happen. You're going to be with a child and give birth to a son. You're to give him the name Jesus. He will be great. 
and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. I don't mean to, to doubt. I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, Angel, but I'm a little confused. I'm a little overwhelmed. How is this going to happen? How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I'm a virgin? Oh, no problem. No, no problem, the angel says. <laughs> The Holy Spirit's going to work this out. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. That's faith. That's the faith you and I need to have this morning. That's what we need to believe. That nothing is impossible with God. A virgin can have a child conceived of the Holy Spirit because nothing is impossible with God. And look at her response. Amazing faith. I am the Lord's servant. Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. And then the angel left her. I am the let it be. Let it be. As you declared it. Oh, to have such faith like Mary. That, that when the angels come or when the unexpected comes in our life, we can say, let it be, God. Whether it's trouble or hardship or change. Or cancer. Or a child. Or a relationship. Or a job. Or whatever that unexpected is in your life. Where you thought it was going to happen one way and then it doesn't. It's just out of the blue unexpected. Well, we have the faith to say, yes, God. Let your will be done. Whether it's Abraham who has the faith to go into the unknown. Whether it's Rahab who has the faith to let the spies in and she, this wasn't what she was expecting. Whether it's Joseph who goes from the pit to the prison to the potter's house to the palace. He says, let it be, God. I know you're in this, God. I know you're with me and I know that I see and I believe nothing is impossible, God, for you. Believe that with all our hearts this morning. It's Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. Sweating tears of blood because of, of, of what's before him. If there's any other way God take this from me. And God says there's no other way. And so Jesus says not my will but your will. Let it be in my life. So what's unexpected has happened to you? <clears throat> what's unexpected that has thrown your life for a loop? Maybe you're in that right now. Maybe you're like 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 a cat. Do you remember? I'm sure some of you, I think, have heard this story before. That we had a, a, a boat, a ski boat, and it was an open bow boat that had some seats in the front. And those seats, you could lift up those seats and you could store life jackets in there, you could store ropes in there, you could store ski equipment up there. So it's kind of an open bow in the front of the boat, you lift it up, there's the storage area. And we would take that boat home, we'd park it in our garage, and we'd take all the wet stuff out. So we'd open up the cover to this front compartment area and we'd leave that open. Well, one day a cat crawled up for a nice warm night's sleep in that compartment in the front of our boat. And then we were skiing the next day, so we traveled. We didn't know that cat was in there. We covered it up. <laughs> we traveled 200 miles with this trailer and this cat. <laughs> 
bouncing around back there. We don't know that it's there. We get out on the lake and it's a, we launch the boat and it's kind of choppy and we go out to this narrow canyon and we pull the boat up into the canyon, having bounced the whole way out there. And we lift up that lid and this cat comes flying out of there. I can't tell you, it's hair is everywhere. Stay Shoots right down the middle of the boat, hits the engine cover, literally jumps 10, 15 feet, hits the side of a cliff and scrambles up that cliff. <laughs> now that is like life. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that is the, yeah, uh, that's the unexpected where you know you just it comes and you're you're bouncing around like a pinball in a machine and life just hits you, right? And you're like, Lord, what's going on? Those are the moments we're talking about. That's the unexpected. That, that's, that's Mary. Thrown for a complete loop. Last thing she would have thought. Mary goes down for a good night's sleep. Right? and wakes up by this angel to this. What have you woken up to this year? What have you woken up over the past few years where life has just completely jolted you, set you back? Those are the moments of faith. Not when the expected is happening, but where is your faith when the unexpected is happening? What can we learn? What can we learn as we look at the life of Mary? Look, look back at the text this morning. This angel comes to her and says, the Lord is with you. The, the angel is trying to reassure Mary. Hey, hey, I just want you to know this is a kind message, but Mary's not there yet. So what Mary responds with, her initial reaction is fear. I would have been scared. We all would have been scared. And so the, the Bible says in verse 29, Mary is greatly troubled by this message. Troubled at the words. And then the angel reassures her again, don't be scared, Mary. Don't be afraid. You're going to have this great son. He's going to be called Son of the Most High. And, and Mary, his kingdom will never end. And she's confused. That's how we respond when the unexpected happens in our life. We're confused. It sets us back. Why, Lord? Why did this happen? Why is it happening in this way? Is there anything good in this? Should I be troubled, God, or should I be faithful in this? What is it, Lord? His kingdom will never end. And she's like, so how will this be since I'm a virgin? The angel goes on, this, the Holy Spirit of God's going to come on you and you're going you're gonna to have this child and he will be the Son of God. And then at that moment, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mary knows a Messiah is coming. There is a context to what the message that the angel brings to Mary. There's this context there. And that's why if, if we are not walking in faith, if we are not spending time in prayer, if we are not tuned with the Holy Spirit of God, if we are not spending time in the Word of God, if we don't have a group of believers that's focused on Jesus Christ, when the unexpected happens, we will be unprepared for that. And it will set us and send us for deep loops. Look, it's already going to be tough. But Mary has a context, and she's reminded that, the, that she's all of her life has known that a Messiah would come. And now it's starting to click, you see. And so her faith is not this blind faith. Her, there are some things that Mary knows. She has this background of God in her life. And it seems impossible, but you see... The angel reminds her nothing is impossible with God. So when those, when those difficult times come, when the unexpected times come in life, I think it's very natural to have a reaction that is fear-based. It's very understanding how she would just be completely thrown 
off kilter by this. Her reaction is fear. Her reaction is confusion. But her response is let it be. Let it be to me, God, as you have said. <coughs> that's, that's faith in action. So listen, your reaction does not have to define your response to the unexpected in life. So where are you this morning? What, what's going on? Are you walking with God so that the unexpected is not quite so frightening? Are you at that place right now where just things aren't going the way that you thought? <clears throat> or are you at the place where you could this morning actually say, okay, God, this is not what I thought. Well, I, I expected to be married. I expected, but I didn't expect this. When tragedy strikes, when life is off kilter, when we have the faith like Mary, can we take that with us to say, God, may it be to me as you have said. This morning, I just want you to think for a moment. Consider where exactly your faith lies. Are you at that that moment in like the cat where things have just hit you out of the blue? If you're not, praise God. But I guarantee you, it's coming. That's life. It's either already happening, it's happening, or it's going to happen. But by faith, you don't have to be afraid. You can believe in a God of the unexpected. That's how God acts and moves. And listen, you know why it's good news that this is going to come? Because that's when God sometimes just seems so powerful and so real to us. Is when that life is, is just falling apart. That, that's when it really gets real. We say, God, I need you. God, I trust you with this. God, I, I'm giving you this, Lord. Because I don't know what else to do. I don't see a way out. But I know you're a God of the impossible. And listen, he is a God who brings the Son of God through Mary. Wow, imagine that. He will be called the Son of God. The Holy One born to you. Well, that means everything to me. That makes Christmas Christmas. This Christ Christ child. This God man. This precious little baby comes in the most humble way. Humble beginnings for the Son of God. Even more humble endings for the Son of God. He comes as a child. He dies on a cross. And then he's risen by the power of God from the grave. And that has been God's plan from the beginning of time and before. For this very moment, for God to come to you this morning, say, will you trust me? Will you believe in my son Jesus? And will you say this morning, Let it be, God. Let it be. Let's pray. You're a God of the unexpected. You're a God of the miraculous. You're a God of the impossible. You're a God who takes broken things and makes them useful and purposeful and beautiful, God. And we confess before you this morning, we are 
broken. We're beat up by life. But there's good news, God. That even in the brokenness, you can work powerfully. In fact, that's when you work most powerfully, God. Father, for those who are hurting this morning, may you bring the light of Jesus Christ and the peace that passes all understanding. And for those who are confused, God, may we just say, let it be, God. Today we will leave this place and we will walk by faith. And for those who have passed through the storms of life and, and are in a good place, God, we thank you and we praise you, but help us not to be too comfortable, God, because we are not home yet. For those who are scared because a relationship didn't turn out the way we wanted it to turn out, because a job didn't turn out, or a marriage didn't turn out the way we expected it to turn out, Father, or the political process didn't go the way we thought it would go, and, and for those who are afraid, God, because a different candidate was elected, may we say, God, look, you can use Pharaoh, you can use anybody for your purposes, God. And so we, this morning, trust you. We believe God help our unbelief and help us to learn like Mary. In those darkest moments, may we remember her words. Let it be. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen.